sort of mission accomplished. We have ice. We have ice. Yeah. We have ice. We have an open house today and Stu Danga. Danga. <laughs> Danga. 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 I'm getting, I'm getting better, my Aussie is uh, up here so he's going to have a uh, video on his channel of a walkthrough of SV Seeker. Some of you have been asking about that lately and we haven't done one in a while so there's your guy. He's going to be doing it. <laughs> if we make it there alive on the oh, right might, side uh, of the road. Uh, yeah, if he drives on the, yeah, the correct side of the road. <laughs> Ute is in the Ute Indians. Oh, okay. We think Ute is in utility vehicle which is our name for a pickup <laughs> yeah, truck. Yeah, you call them Utes, don't you? Yeah. Trees hide the boat well. Yeah, we're gonna have to trim some of these trees because we're not gonna fit underneath those. Oh yeah. Here we are. This is us. Looking very nice painted up now. I love it. They know what the fuck they're doing. Oh, uh, that's it. You yes, know? you can present as an subject matter expert instead of... Yeah, instead of, uh, we're gonna try and figure this out today. Although you know? I do think there's a thing about... Sometimes when you watch an expert, you go, well, I'm not an expert, so I can't do that. Exactly. That's when what, you just go, that's I'm a guy, I have a go. thing, too. You know, yeah. it's, it, YouTube gave us these people that are like, well, okay, I knew better than that. Yeah, <laughs> right. And he's doing it, so why can't I do it? Yeah, so why am I still sitting on my couch? You know? Exactly. So, yeah. Yes, no excuses. I like this. I like this whole new era that we've moved into. Totally, with, yeah. yeah. The, the I can do it and the DIY thing. Yeah. yeah it's no longer, yeah. you know, and, and you would never be able to say... And the money thing too. Yeah. You know, right. I used to watch this old house and then it mm -hmm. became this old, you have to have a $1.5 million. Right. And I was like, okay, that's nice, but... Yeah. You, know, you don't. I don't. <laughs> no, 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 I don't, and you don't so YouTube it. was the way of like, okay, if you got 10 bucks, yep. you can do it like this. You got 100 yes. bucks, you can do it do like this. this. You got yeah. $1,000, go somewhere else. Exactly. <laughs> you could pay someone to do it. You yeah. watch telly and drink beer. <laughs> so it's like... Yeah, so. right. Well, I'm glad to have channels like yours around because oh, exactly. of, and, and that, that, that. that well, you're, I approach. liked uh, when uh, uh, Steve and Alex sent you the shirt saying yeah. to, to the grandfather of YouTube, YouTube videos and voting. No, no. Was it grandfather? I read it wrong. I thought it said godfather. Godfather might have been. Godf <laughs> Sorry. Grandfather would be funny too. We can edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> but it is that thing of, you know, like, that, and then suddenly, but that's, that's testament to having spurred a, generation of DIY people going well yeah I saw, it's, it's, I, I, I saw it in so many other things that yeah. I thought you know those boat guys can yeah. do this too yeah. Yeah. yeah that's it you see it with yeah. yeah I was hoping it'd be metal boats right all right metal boat power <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like okay they're wood but they're yeah. doing a really cool, cool yeah, job yeah exactly up there. Yeah. actually somebody said to me they said oh I'm glad you've started this this project because there's a lot of timber boats or lumber boats or wood boats or whatever you call them wood, over here I think they're wood, wood boats wood, wood boats everywhere. Wood, wood, wood. and uh saying there's so many wooden boat projects that it was nice to see a couple of steel ones because some people do love just yeah. working with steel. Yeah, know? we're the we're the we're the dirty step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they, they they make them out of steel sometimes. Yeah, too. yeah you go, yeah. oh there's this beautiful craftsman. Oh yeah, there's these guys <laughs> over here too. <laughs> with their angle grinders. <laughs> Alright, yeah. now I haven't uh, introduced Doug yet. Now I didn't do that earlier on in the video because I presume everyone knows Doug. No, no, no. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case. So this is Doug and his boat is SV Seeker, which is also the name of his YouTube channel. And Great. Doug has built this from scratch. I cheated. I just found an old boat and started restoring it. Whereas Doug welded two bits of steel together I think on the wall. was on the bottom, wasn't it? Didn't it, it had been, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, well, you know, there's a point at which you think, oh, you know, it's like Leo Sampson is like, yeah, yeah do I start over or yeah, do I start with this? You exactly. Know, so. do, I res do I restore a boat that actually needs every single piece replaced? <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. And I actually think that's a, a really interesting discussion that we should sit somewhere and have because you know I think it's do your stuff from scratch I think it's you I, if you want to if you want to yes. do it you do it that way yeah I don't yeah. think anybody else should be making that call for someone else you know so. I think you're right it's a personal taste right and also for example to build you needed the gantry cranes so I didn't need gantry cranes to restore right and so there's a couple of things you go you know what that's just not yeah. possible for me yeah so restoration is my only choice right and I really push restoration because there, there's you can you can buy Yours was a long restoration, but you can buy boats that just need some extra, you know, and you, yeah. you got plenty of work there. Yeah. And if you just want to, and I always say this, question, so. <laughs> I always say this, if you, if you want to just go sailing, go buy a used boat, okay? Don't build. You're not going to save money building a boat. If you don't want to build, it'll never work for you. But if you want to build, you know. It's, well, at it's seven a, years, you're not, so eight years you've been going now? Eight years, eight, yeah. 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 So it's eight years you're not sailing. And, and at least two more. Yeah. And so a couple of guys have said to me, oh, I'd love to do this, but I'm already 65, so that'll put me to maybe 75 by the time the boat's yeah. finished. You and might, you might yeah. end your life building a boat. Hmm. If that's what you want to do, do that. And no. you've, got to enjoy, you've obviously enjoyed the journey oh, too. Oh yeah, if I yeah. died today, hopefully not. <laughs> if I died today, I'd be fine with it, yeah, because yeah. I've enjoyed the journey. Enjoyed the process, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But if you can't do that, 
don't do don't this. Do don't do this. this. Don't do it. Now, for the rest of this interview, I'm going to interrupt you. For the rest of this interview, go to Stu's channel. It's uh, Danga Marine. It's spelled D A N G A R Marine. And he's uh, all the way up from near Sydney, Australia. Does wonderful work on, on the boat down there and a lot of stuff in the shop. So you'll love it. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's have a look around. Yeah, let's go. Now, before you go and watch the tour on Stu's channel here, uh, let me just say a big thank you to everybody who showed up for the meetup uh, and uh, to thank Stu and uh, Bruce for stopping by here. Bruce is his dad, and they were doing this uh, Route 66 tour across the United States, and it was a real pleasure to meet both of them. And, uh, you know, you're going to like Stu. He's, he's a lot more experienced in Marine than he gives on uh, in his channel. And uh, he's a real down-to-earth, genuine guy. So he was a pleasure to meet and, and uh, become friends with. And, and, and anyway, so thank you to everybody who showed up for the, the meetup and the open house here at Seeker. There was, uh, I think there's 60 between, uh, you know, Betsy's uh, high school reunion folks, uh, go groundhogs or whatever you are. And uh, the people who, uh, I mean, to get 60 people who are interested in big boats uh, being built in the middle of Oklahoma, I think that's just freaking remarkable. So thank you all. And I know a lot of you traveled in from a long way, and I really uh, wish I could have spent more time with everybody. Uh, so hopefully you can come back by again someday and uh, see us a little further along on the path. Go enjoy the video.